Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and hello to all my new subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. My name is Tony and I like anything vintage, uh, junk journaling, art journaling, mixed media, stamping, die cutting, punching, paper. I love it all. So today... I have a video where I am using the Reminiscence Book 6. This book, oh, I hope it never, ever stops from being on the shelves because this book is, it's so cool. It is so cool. It's designed by the lovely Esther for Elizabeth Craft Designs. And, oh, I mean, just look at that alone. That back page. Ah, oh, it is full of, and I am going to go through it one by one because it deserves the time. So in the, in this book, you have half and half. So you have half really nice thick cardstock, and then you have exactly the same sheets in a really nice thick paper. So, it is all very ledger, numbers and graphs and tags, and oh, look at the tags. It is just amazing. Everything, I mean, look, oh, I'm going to cut all them out, but then I lose the ledger paper on the back. Oh, it's all right. I've brought another two because I cannot... <laughs> <laughs> so i have this one and um you all know that i like to buy two pads of the paper pads that i like because especially if they're double-sided because the thought of uh yeah d -d 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 can't so yeah i do have another two coming i think they're coming tomorrow actually so it's just the log books and the pages i mean oh they are just amazing look at the tickets on oh, the old paper i absolutely adore this book i also adore that you get pages with ephemera in as well so you can chop them up look so absolutely beautiful papers <gasps> look they're so cute oh i love them i mean oh. I've just got goosebumps. I've just got goosebumps. This book is so cool. Look at all that ephemera on there. Mm. I absolutely love every... Oh. See, I have looked at this book before, but even now I'm still seeing things that I didn't see before. I just love it. Absolutely love it. If you're into your junk journaling and your old vintage documents and stuff like that, I definitely recommend the book six because, oh, uh, well, I mean, you can see it is just amazing. I mean, for your planners as well. Oh, it's just. It's so cool absolutely so cool i mean look at those is this the last page yep and then we start on the paper side of it so the paper is exactly the same as the card um but it's on paper this book it is just so cool so Let's get down to what we're going to do today. Right, so today we're going to be making some little pockets that you can slip into your planners or your journals. So I have made some prototypes already. And you know what I'm like, I've always got to make five. I'll probably only decorate one, but I will always make five. Um, so I have this lovely tall one here. And I've just done a little notch in the top. So, let's talk about the measurements. It's really easy. So, the fold, 
the fold over is always a quarter inch and two and two inches so yeah it's basically four and a quarter inches the height is seven and a quarter inches even with the bottom tab so we are going to make some of these so you will soon see me do some um but i've got quite a few out of one sheet of a4 paper which i was quite impressed by um so we have this one as well don't ask i wasn't paying attention and i cut the wrong end but lucky it's just a prototype so yeah we have this size this is exactly the same size and then we have these two that are exactly the same size as well as the long one so choose your paper um i think i'm gonna go oh right no i no no don't be sentimental tony right i'm gonna go with that one and and now we're going to get our scoreboard because i'm sure i will go wrong right so the tall one as you can see put up to the end is get straight that's it four and a quarter across so oh now me come on that's it so we're going to score at four all the way down and then again at four and a quarter. And then obviously because you want the sides, so score at two. And then I am going to turn it over and I am going to do the again four or i'll tell you what we'll score at two and then at four and then at a quarter perfect so this one this tall one so this paper is actually four and a half right so we're gonna score seven and a half sorry so we're gonna score at seven and a quarter but we only want to go to this score line. Maybe that might be easier if I just cut them out now, actually. Because we've got a big bit of card down the middle that you won't need. Hmm, yeah. I don't trust myself. I'm getting out my chomper. Because... I know what I'm like. Right, so there's that one. And then we chop off. And then we have this bit spare, which can go into your scraps box. Right, so let's put that away again. So on the side with the tool fold, the long fold uh we want to do it on we want the other side so but we still want to so this is seven and a half so we want to mark at seven and a quarter and this one is so we want a four and a half and then four and a quarter and i think i'll just cut this bit off because this bit is scored you can always just put that on there and then score half an inch and you have a little one too so you get three <clears throat> out of one piece of paper which is perfect um right so let me move my scoreboard out of the way so i'm just going to trim on the edge with the, th the quarter of an inch that one there and then at the top there and then at the bottom there and then also there and then i'm going to cut off this bit so this bottom flap is always on the opposite part of the tall flap 
if that makes sense. And then when you fold it over, you have a cute little pocket. Love it. Right, let's do the others. And I am going to get my my teeny weeny punch and make sure you don't do what I did and that bit is at the bottom. And then I'm just going to punch whoop, a little bit out the middle there. Oh, that, that bit went down my hood. And then I'm going to do the same on here. Oh, that bit went down my hood as well. And then, yep, folded bits at the bottom. Oh, that bit, that's quite dangerous. They fly off. Right. <clears throat> so, I'm going to ink them up. before I glue them down. Hope everybody's having a lovely weekend. What are you all up to? Have you been crafting? I've been journaling. Right, so I've inked everything up and I also cut out some of the paper um, ephemera bits that's, that comes in the pad as well. And I've pulled out some stamps. Now, I'm not too sure I'm going to use all these, but I will tell you what they're called anyway. So I have the Pieces of Life number and labels. I also have the Home and Nature, Noteworthy, Planted with Love, Memorable, Time to Travel, Paper Love and Block Words Hello. So, because I want to add some colour um, and I want to use, I quite like the smile and the happy because they fit perfect and I thought they could go on the other side. Um, these, I liked the love and family as well. Um, the ticket and um, I want the girls, um, yeah, I want to print stamp out the girls so i think i'm gonna do that first grab a piece of card so first off so in these we have very muted um neutral colors so i want to bring a bit of color into it so i'm going to use um i'm going to use tulip red and paradise right so first off i'm gonna do a memorable because i quite like these memorable and story quotes at the top as well and i think we'll stamp this 
little cutie in blue. Oh, I love this blue. She's too cute. Three for ten cents. Ta da! Oh, I love that red as well. I'm going to do the Planted with Love. This one in the black. Oh, oh she's so cute. Right, now I'm cutting them out, so it doesn't matter which way I do them. I have Noteworthy. Let's see what she looks like in red. Oh, she looks quite cute. Oh, the bottom slipped. I might have to do that again. Yeah, the bottom slipped. Oh. That's better. Now I am going to go and cut. Oh, the wet wipe. The wet wipe was on the labels. It's okay, we'll salvage it. Right, I'm going to cut these off camera and then I'll be back. So I have cut, fussy cutted out my little stamp bits. And now, let's get them all out of here. I'm going to glue these together. Right, so I have just inked my little bits and now we're going to put them together. So, I think I might have... Oh, what have we got in here as well? Up there. Yeah. better i like that even more right now perfect
Just go over these edges again. And there we have our first little pocket. Right, now with this one, because it's long, small, happy, hello. I think we want to have smile always. Use art glitter glue to stick this down. What else have we got in here? I do have a stamp, bear with me. So I have the art journal set, Journal for Life, and I'm gonna I kind of want it to blend into the background. So I'm thinking tea dye or frayed burlap because pummy stone's a little bit too dark. Um, let's do a little test. Cool. Um, I think the frayed burlap's going to go with the ticket, which I kind of like. And I've got quite a lot of the that kind of colour, the orangey kind of distress colour with the vintage photo. So I'm going to go with a frayed burlap. Uh, what else have we got on here? My story. I like that. And now we just have the little one. Maybe if we cut, because I can always stamp out more. I've got a label and then get this end one as well. Just 
ink up those spots. And we can put a label down here. Right, so I'm going to use the Weekly Thoughts um, stamp set. And I think maybe Memories or Weekend should, should, should fit. But we are going to get a little something to go over her boot just in case and I'm going to do this in black perfect oh look at that it fits perfectly Perfect. Right, so now they're all done, I'm going to do the insides. And I've kept out my Weekly Thoughts stamp set because the long... Let me just get the background. So the long stamp here that says this week, um, if I actually cut off this bit, that the seventh day, foot, sixth day, fourth day, it fits perfect inside. So I'm going to get my stamp block out and stamp that. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do in these two yet. Um, I might just do some tags with some tops on. Right, so I've done all the faffing. I have printed out this and... Oh, no, I'm going to get my trimmer. And it fits perfect. Yes. Right. And I'm going to save these because I might use these for something else. So I'm going to put them in my scrap bin. Because you never know. Right. So that's that for that one. I have also... Let me get rid of these stamps. I have also die cut this little tab thing here. And this is from the General File Folder 2, 1983. So I'm just going to score these down. And this one fits inside here with a little pokey bit out the top, which is absolutely fine. And then this one I cut from Planner Essentials 10 and it's the stamps which are really cool and 
that fits in there with a little stamp hanging out the top, which I don't mind. I don't mind. But I am going to mount this onto... Um, I might put that with there and then just do a tag for this. Right, just sticking out the top like that. Right, now I'm just going to have to trim this off because it can't be the same size, otherwise it won't fit down. So I'm just going to take a little bit off the end. And then we'll see. Perfect. Right, let me get my... Oh. When I was cutting my circles out of here, I went back in the house... And I found one in my pocket of my hoodie. <laughs> right, so this could, we could put this on here. Where's my, here it is. And on a vintage photo, so. Put that on there like that. Right, let's move these out of the way. I'll list everything in the description box for you, everything that I've used, along with um, the links as well and my um, discount code, Crafty Decor by Tony, 10% off. Winning! Right, um, so what was we doing? It was inking. as well because that's going to be showing and what I might do on here is use this on one side and then glue that on there so that because this is where the photos are going to go um, when you print them off right so I'm going to ink this up Right, perfect. I want a little something, something on, on the back of this. I have background stamps three and I'm going to use this. Um, I might use them all. I don't know yet. But I, it needs, it needs something. So I can't quite like this. So I might, I might do this in vintage photo. I'm not bothered if I don't get all the stamp. And just kind of dart it about like that. And then get this one and I'm not going to use 
I'm not going to use my platform for this. But I am going to use... Right, so because it's very fine writing, I'm going to use my uh, VersaFine. Um, because this is really good for detailed, fine details. So let me see which way this goes. Right, that's the right way up. Now the end, a bit more. Right, that'll do. Now let's glue these down. Oh, actually, actually, you know, I could, right, that's for that tag. I've gone off and I started doing this, didn't I? And now I've, I've gone off track. Right, let's see what we've got in our little bouquet of goodies. I really do like this tag, but it's no. Um, yeah. Don't you find that when you get, because I brought some new dobbers because mine were looking horrendous. Um, but don't you find when you get new ones, it takes ages for the ink to kind of settle in. You have to, I feel like I'm always sort of dobbing in the ink, if that makes sense. Right, so... I think we'll have this off the side. And this, make sure it's straight. Oh, there we go. And we can have that there. And now we need a little something. At the top here. Right, now let's stick down the stamps. Over to the side. Perfect. And then you've got a journaling spot on top. And then, right, so I'm going to do all these, I keep, and then, and then, stick to the script, Tony, stick to the script, because you're going off course. I think this is going to be another hour video, because my videos, the talking ones, just always seem to be an hour long, because they're really hard to edit. Right, so I've got this stamp set now. I can't remember what it's called, but I will link it down below and I'll put like a star next to it or something because I've lost the packaging for this. Um, but I'm going to use the A Day in the Life stamp. And just put that there. Perfect for that. And it just needs 
needs a top on it. Uh, this one needs doing for here. So what else have we got? Right, I like this. Anybody watching any good TV programs? I've just finished. I know TV programs are different in um, America, or the channels are different anyway. Um, but I, on Amazon Prime, Paramount Channel, I've been watching the new Fatal Attraction with Joshua Jackson out of Dawson's Creek. Who remembers Dawson's Creek? Love Dawson's Creek! Um, I've just finished that because there's only one season of it and I think there was only four episodes in the season but that was really good and I have literally just started watching Mayors of Kingston or Kingstown perfect I'm going to have that like that because on the back is where you can put your photo. Right. Let's glue this down. Let's see if we can remember where we put it. I'm going to use this glue so I've got some moving time. Yeah, it's quite good. I'm on episode, I'm just about to start episode three. So it's quite cool. It's got Mate Out of Marvel in it. Can't remember his name. The one that has the bow and arrow. And it's, yeah, it's quite good so far. I do love binge watching a good good tv series vanderpump rules Ooh. oh brutal i am looking forward to ah dropped him to the finale but i'm looking forward to the reunion more who's been watching vanderpump rules i have mm -hmm. i love it absolutely love it right that's there then photo can go on the back does it need some stamping nope i don't think i'm going to do any stamping on that one but i might cut nope i'm not going to right now let's do this one let's ink this up because the photo can slide in there. So put that in there like that. I'm going to 
three quarters of an inch just like that and then i'm going to get my rounded corner punch on the biggest setting Fold it over I've got a little smidgy bit here so let's take him off and then ink it up And what we're going to do is it will s I'll make sure it doesn't I don't want it to go too low just so it kind of fits in there and then when you pull it out Right, so I'm going to glue this on first before I punch the hole. And now we need one for this tab. Um, right, so let's see what I've got in my little boxes. Um... That could be quite cool up there, but it's a little bit big. I think we'll use that one. let that one dry and now we need one for here perfect I'm going to keep these out because there might be mm, reinforcers right I'm going to get out my cropper doll chomp chomp and Make sure it's in the middle and again on this one in the middle that one's already got a hole so i don't need to do that but i do want eyelets is there a black one in here no just dark brown Mm. Oh, I like it. Or do I want... <sighs> da, 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 da. Oh, that hole's not in the middle, but... And these, these are going to be too big for this one. <laughs> yep. A tab on the top, just like that, and we're going to stick this one on here, one on there, and I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut this hole again because it's annoying me that it's in the wrong place. It's quite a big eyelet, so it will cover it, and it only needs to go over a smidgen. There you go. And there we have our three pockets to put on our put on your planner. Um, 
and put your photos in and do your journaling on the back. Oh, I absolutely love that. I did a bit of stamping on the back as well, just a little bit. Um, but, oh, I love them. Absolutely love them. And there's your photo mat for all your photos. And get a changeable photo put in there for that one. And then there's this one. Put your photo on the back or do some journaling on the back. Oh, I absolutely love them. They're so cool. They're so cool. And I love just how everything... My, these tags look awesome on everything. You can use them on anything you like. They're so cool. All right, so thank you, everybody, for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. I will be back tomorrow with another video. Um my cluster collection so that's coming tomorrow so i'll see you all tomorrow everybody so bye